When I see a vacuum cleaner in the trash, I always try to get it since, even if it is totally busted, it will always provide a decent length of electric wires to use in other projects. But before collecting the wire, let's see if the vacuum cleaner is still working. Disclaimer. Nope. Still nope. Okay, no real surprise here, but let's see if we now can figure out what is wrong with it. Bast. While all the screws were standard, they have added one security screw to avoid people from opening the casing. Note that I do have the right bit for the screw, but that does really help here since the diameter of the bit holder is too big to reach the screw. Fortunately, I have experienced this issue before and know what I have to do. Meet again my flathead screwdriver little friend. Alright, let's check the inside for anything strange, discoloration, black component, burnt smells, disconnected wires, worn out motor brushes. Nothing is really standing out, except maybe this switch here to set the vacuum cleaner on and off. This is a really weird and cheap design using a push stick mechanism and I wonder if this could not be our problem. Let's try again to start the vacuum cleaner manually triggering the switch. It works, quite some talk. Alright, we have identified our fault, the switch is not properly activated to turn on the vacuum cleaner. Let's see what is going on here. As I push the on button, a rod is pushed forward and should press and keep the internal switch on the on position, but a small plastic part of the rod has been broken, and the rod is no longer long enough to create a contact. Give me a second to think on how to solve this requiring, as usual, the least amount of changes and parts possible. Okay, my first idea was be to put a new on, off switch, but that would mean drilling new holes in the casing and would change the vacuum cleaner design. My second idea was to lengthen the push stick, but there I needed either to extend the metal rod or glue a plastic part that may break again. What I actually ended up doing is a lot simpler, simply bending the pin of the switch so that it needed less travel to be activated by the push stick. No new parts, no design change. Let's now verify if that works.